This video is an orientation of a Power Mechanical Incorporated's Tower Tech 1000 ton rental cooling tower modules. The design of these units allow for interconnecting of multiple towers for virtually any size requirements. Contact your rental coordinator for more information on available units and specifications. The tower basin will be rigged in accordance to Power Mechanical's specified lifting and rigging procedures for this unit. This will be provided to you from your rental coordinator during the planning of the delivery and setup. The use of two 12-foot spreader bars on the width ends will be required. Rigging without the correct spreader bars could destroy the tower. Before the tower is lifted is the best time to lay out the legs and angle braces for the proper locations. This will streamline looking for the correct pieces while the tower is in the air. The legs are labeled to their coordinating corners and the angle braces to their connection points. While many of these assembly pieces look nearly identical, we have found that the holes line up best and provide smoother installation when legs and gussets are placed in the appropriate labeled positions. In short, you should expect to see the cooling tower's internal number with a leg number on the leg pieces. The midsection is supported by two legs fastened together back to back with spacers pre-installed. These legs should only be disassembled from the tower basin and not separated from one another at the conclusion of the rental. Once the tower is properly rigged, it can be lifted and held into place while the legs are positioned for installation. Power Mechanical provides safety poles that can be positioned temporarily under the basin while legs are being fastened. This is only a safety precaution, and these poles should not be relied upon to completely hold the weight of the tower. The assembly, rigging, and lifting should only be performed by qualified personnel. Improper techniques here can cause serious property damages, injuries, or death to personnel involved. If there is any doubt of the capabilities of the equipment or installing personnel, it is extremely important to stop and verify any questionable situations before proceeding. Always err on the side of caution when performing installations such as this. All necessary hardware for the cooling tower assembly is provided. Again, this is a good reason to verify the bill of lading upon receipt. After the legs are positioned, the gussets can then be fit and fastened into place. Once all legs and gussets are fastened properly, the safeties can be removed and the tower can be lowered. The legs will need to be landed at a direct 90 degree to the ground as seen here. Personnel should attend each leg as it is being lowered for its final setting, paying close attention to the set angle and watching for any unforeseen hazards that may arise. Modules should not exceed a half inch out of level. Any conditions outside this level would create incorrect water levels, minimized efficiency, and a risk of damaging the cooling tower. With the tower and substructure now fully assembled and sitting level, we can move into the installation of the subcomponents. Clean the flange face of the sump and the tower's sump flange, wiping away any debris or old sealant. Silicon gasket material is provided and should be applied to both sides of the sump flange gasket. With the silicone neatly and liberally applied on the sump side, position the gasket onto the sump flange and align the corners. Insert two bolts into the top corners to ensure the gasket is aligned. Install the sump spacer assembly as shown. The sump spacer is necessary for correct alignment of the sump to the tower and its proper connection. Now, position the sump assembly to the tower module. Align the two flange bolts as well as the spacer bolts to the corresponding holes and hand tighten. Continue connection with the provided assembly hardware. Do not over tighten assembly hardware. The fiberglass can break and destroy the tower if over tightened. 35 to 45 foot pounds is recommended torque for the sump assembly. Heater assemblies are available and may be necessary for installation in the balance line during winter operations. Your rental coordinator can provide you with more information regarding these requirements. The tower will ship with isolation valves installed on all inlets and discharge flanges. 
Further piping and interconnection of systems is the responsibility of the renter. Tentative to your rental agreement, some piping components may be provided, such as interconnecting headers, discharge piping, etc. Power Mechanical can provide any of the necessary equipment and material for installation as requested. Additionally, Power Mechanical can provide your facilities with a turnkey rental installation. Ask your rental coordinator for more information on all of our additional services and products. We hope this video has provided some valuable information on your cooling tower rental. Thanks again for choosing Power Mechanical Incorporated for your rental cooling tower needs. For any situation, whether it's planned or emergency, Power Mechanical Incorporated has the equipment and staff to support your project. Contact us today for more information on all of our products and services.